Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's tutorial, I'll talk about Maintain Supplier. Let's go to SQL Accounting System, click on the Supplier module, then click on Maintain Supplier. Once you are in Maintain Supplier, it's very similar like Maintain Customer. You can see that this is the fastest way for you. Is there any outstanding to your supplier? And the first row is empty. This is for you to do searching. For example, you want to search a supplier and you cannot remember the full name maybe you want to, you only remember something accessory so basically what you need to do is just click on the empty space under the company name column type something then your supplier will appear or you have a missed call you think this is your supplier maybe you just type 313 then you can get your supplier okay Whenever you see columns in SQL Accounting System, what you can do is you can actually right click any column title, go to Field Chooser, drag any useful or any specific column that you want. Example, you want to make use of email, just drag, drop. You have the email. And if you don't want certain column, either you can right click the column title, remove this column or just open up the field chooser and drag the column put back into the field chooser. So again, you want to export the whole grid okay, into Excel. Same things, right click any column title, grid export, export to Excel. Maybe we call it supplier listing. Save it. Then you have your supplier listing in Excel format. So it will export out exactly as what you have seen. So go back to SQL. Now, over here you can see this is filter. You can actually click on it. For example, I just want to see outstanding there is more than 500. You just click on the formula, select the filter you want, maybe it's greater than so greater than 500 it will do the filtering for you same apply to any of the column and just in case instead of using the field chooser you can also use another method to drag out another field for example this is the column title most left there is a very small button with multiple lines click on it maybe you want to get use to use the credit terms, just click on credit terms, then credit terms will appear. And you can just drag drop and put into the column position that you want. Okay, now let's create a new supplier. Just click on new supplier, new. Okay, or you want to edit, just click on edit. Click on new supplier. Let's say we call it SQL. And Similar as maintain customer, you can also put in any other character that can be recognized by Windows. Example, you want to put in some Chinese name. So this is called SQL. Okay, you can put in something like this. Here, for the billing, you can put in the address, contact person, phone, fax, email for the this company, this supplier. Or if this supplier you have others contact, okay, then you just click on the branch plus sign. Then, example, they have a branch in Ipo, so you just put Ipo, then you have an Ipo branch contact, okay. Over here is unlimited, you can just put in the branch or any other contact, example, the supplier, maybe the account department. It may not be a branch, but just a contact also can. So over here, you can see uh, there is a lot of uh, additional field for you to fill up. If you want to make use of it, if you can still remember example area. So this supplier is in pinning, there's no pinning. So what you can do is click on the three dot button next to the field. This is actually the shortcut for you to create the selections for that particular field. Click on new, pinning. 
It based all the code in SQL is actually alphanumeric, so can be written, can be numbered. Save it, so you can see that pinning now is available for selections. So the credit term is the credit terms given by supplier to you, same to credit limit. Then if you can remember, attachment is very useful. If you have anything related to this particular supplier, you can actually click on the plus button then you can attach the document or picture or any file that related to this supplier. This will be very useful if you have multiple documents and you put it in different different folders. So when you want to do searching, it's much more easier for you direct user SQL. It just will create a link to that document and not actually putting that document inside SQL accounting system. So it will not burden your system. But do bear in mind, if you remove that document or you delete it or move to another location, this particular link will not be function. Okay. And then you can put in some notes for this supplier and you can set the uh, exemption number if you are under SSD and you already apply for exemption. And what is the tax code, expiry date for the exemptions. The bank account for this supplier, if you're using SQL gyro module, then this one is very important for you. Okay, if not, very simple information, name, address, maybe contact, phone, fax, email, then you can save this as a new supplier. Okay, so uh, it's straightforward um, in maintain supply in SQL accounting system, very similar to maintain customer. So. That is all about maintain supplier and once again I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you for watching.